So the primary focus of our lab is to try and identify genes which are involved in insect reproduction. We want to know what makes males and females successful at reproducing. The organism that we use is Drosophila melanogaster. It's a model genetic system um, for a variety of reasons. One is that it has a relatively short generation time, about two weeks. Um, we can also grow huge numbers in the lab very, very easily, which is great for our experiments. We have the full genome of it available. We know that there are about 14,000 genes, more or less. We have many of them mapped. Um, we have a good understanding of what many of these genes do. Which, and we also have a lot of nice genetic tools that allow us to manipulate it um, in ways such that we can actually identify the function of individual genes and studies how those genes interact with each other. One of the things that's pretty unique about our experiments is just the sheer size of them. We're doing several hundred of matings this morning. That's going to produce several hundred thousand offspring. What we have is we have two different vials here, one of which we've been housing some males in and the other of which we've been housing the females in. These are all virgins, and what we're doing now is we're putting them together such that we get some matings to occur. So we tap the male into the female vial, and hopefully um, within oh, an hour or so, we should get them to actually mate. Um, so we've got some students out in the other room that are actually watching the matings, recording the times at which they occur. and. One of, because one of the things that we want to make sure that the females will mate once and only once to this particular male because we're then going to give her the opportunity on Friday morning, which is uh, two days from now, to remate with a second male. And then what we're going to do is these different males actually have different eye color mutations. So we'll be able to tell paternity of the offspring based on the color of the offspring's eyes. If we can identify ways in which they're successful, then hopefully we might be able to identify ways in which we can use the tools and the knowledge that we have to be able to improve biological control systems. We may be able to reduce numbers of invasive species or even control agricultural pests um, in more effective and more directed ways.